In this tutorial we're going to look at acid-base titrations and calculations associated with the results from these. We're going to need to use our equations that we've learnt about how to find out the number of moles in solution. In order to calculate the concentration of an acid or alkali we're going to need to recall and use this equation which is that the number of moles equals the concentration which is measured in moles per cubic decimeter times the volume in cubic decimeters which we may need to rearrange in two other ways. You need to learn this equation because it is not given to you in your exam paper. Some people find rearranging these equations easier by creating one of these triangles as you can see here the amount of moles at the top is equal to the concentration times the volume so if you wanted to know the concentration we would put our hand over the concentration and see that it was the amount of moles over the volume and if we wanted to know the volume we would put our hand over the volume one here and we'd see that it was the amount in moles over the concentration. You need to remember that the concentration is measured in moles per cubic decimeter and the volume has to be therefore in cubic decimeters. Let's try doing some simple calculations using that equation and rearrangements of it. First one is how many moles are there in 25 cubic centimeters of a 0.2 mole per cubic decimeter solution? Well here the concentration is in the correct units but the volume is not. It's in cubic centimeters and needs to be converted into cubic decimeters. So to do that we need to divide by a thousand and that gives us a volume of 0.025 cubic decimeters. We then use the equation amount in moles equals volume times concentration and multiply the volume 0.025 times the concentration 0.2 gives us 0.005 moles. In the second one what is the concentration of a solution containing 0.06 moles in 500 cubic centimeters Again, here the volume is in the wrong units and needs to be converted into cubic decimeters. So the volume needs to be divided by 1000 to put it into cubic decimeters, 0.5 cubic decimeters. Then a rearrangement of that equation gives us that concentration equals amount in moles divided by volume. The amount in moles is given in the question 0.06 and the volume in cubic decimeters is 0.5 and it gives us 0.12 moles per cubic decimeter for the concentration. And finally, what volume of 0.1 mole per cubic decimeter hydrochloric acid would contain 0.005 moles? Here everything is in the correct units, therefore the volume, which would be in cubic decimeters initially, is the amount in moles divided by the concentration. The amount in moles is 0.005, the concentration is 0.1, which gives us an answer of 0.05 cubic decimeters. Should we wish to convert that into cubic centimeters, we need to multiply by 1000, which gives us 50 cubic centimeters. Here's some more. How many moles are there in 50 cubic centimeters of a 0.25 mole per cubic decimeter solution? Here the concentration is in the correct units, but the volume is not. We need to convert from 50 cubic centimetres to cubic decimetres by dividing by 1,000. That gives us 0.05 cubic decimetres. Then we say that the amount in moles, which is what we need to find out, equals the volume times the concentration. The volume is 0.05 and the concentration is 0.25. gives us an answer of 0.0125 moles. Secondly, what's the concentration of a solution containing 0.04 moles in 50 cubic centimetres? The number of moles is in the correct units, but the volume again is incorrect. It needs to be converted into cubic decimetres by dividing by 1,000. gives us 0.05 cubic decimetres again. And now the concentration, by rearranging that original equation, is the amount in moles divided by the volume. Now... The amount in moles is 0.04 and the volume is 0.05 gives us an answer of 0.8 moles per cubic decimeter. Finally, what volume of 0.2 mole per cubic decimeter solution of hydrochloric acid would contain 0.04 moles? Well here, these are both in the correct units, so the answer, the volume, is the amount in moles divided by the concentration will give us an answer in cubic decimeters. So that's 0.04 divided by the concentration, 0.2, gives us an answer of 0.2 cubic decimeters, 
or if we need to convert that into cubic centimetres, multiplying it by a thousand will give us 200 cubic centimetres. Now let's use this newfound knowledge to do a titration calculation. 25 cubic centimetres of an unknown concentration of sodium hydroxide was titrated with 0.1 mole per cubic decimetre hydrochloric acid. The mean titer was 27.3 cubic centimetres. Calculate the concentration of the sodium hydroxide solution. Well, we know more about the acid than we do about the sodium hydroxide. We know about the acid that we're using 27.3 cubic centimetres and the concentration is 0.1. But first of all, we must convert that 27.3 cubic centimetres into cubic decimetres by dividing by 1,000, which gives us 0.0273 cubic decimetres. Then we use the equation to find out the amount in moles of that hydrochloric acid equals the volume times the concentration. The volume is 0.0273 cubic decimetres. The concentration is 0.1, gives us a number of moles of 0.00273 moles. Now, the reaction between hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide is a 1 to 1 molar ratio. Therefore, the amount in moles of the alkali is going to be the same as the acid, 0.00273 moles. So we know the amount in moles for the alkali. We also know the volume for the alkali, which is 25 cubic centimetres. But we must convert that into cubic decimetres by dividing by a thousand to give us 0 0.025 cubic decimeters. Now to work out the concentration, it's the amount in moles divided by the volume. The amount in moles was 0 0.00273 moles. The volume, 0 0.025 cubic decimeters, gives us an answer of 0 0.1092 moles per cubic decimeter. Here's a past paper question. This question is about acid-based titrations. Alina wants to find out the concentration of potassium hydroxide solution needed to neutralize 10 cubic centimeters of a 0.2 mole per cubic decimeter hydrochloric acid solution. Look at the apparatus she uses. She adds potassium hydroxide solution slowly until the phenolphthalein just changes color. She repeats the experiment three more times. Now look at Alina's results table. Now look at the results table, we see that she did four titrations and she's got the initial burette reading and the final burette reading and from those has taken one away from the other to work out the titer, which is the volume of the acid that she added to neutralize the alkali. Alina decides to use only the results from titration two and four, explain why. Well when we look at the results they vary quite a lot, but two and four are very close to each other, so we need to say this in probably more scientific words. We need to explain that uh, titers 2 and 4 are concordant. This means they are consistent or close together. We can assume because these are more consistent than the others, then they are the more accurate ones. Now it says, look at the equation for the reaction between potassium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid. Calculate the concentration of the potassium hydroxide in moles per cubic decimeter, and these steps may help. Okay, well, we are told that there is 10 cubic centimeters of hydrochloric acid, but we need to work that out into cubic decimeters. So that equals 10 over a thousand equals 0 0.01 cubic decimeters of HCl. We're also told what the concentration of the hydrochloric acid is, so the number of moles equals the concentration times the volume, which is 0 0.2 times 0 0.01, which is 0 0.002 moles of HCl. Now, the equation between the HCl and the KOH is a one-to-one -one relationship. Therefore, the number of moles of the uh, KOH is also 0 0.002 moles. 
We're told to work out the average titer from the previous slide, and the titers were 25.0 and 25.1. So the average titer equals 25.0 plus 25.1 over 2 equals 25.05 cubic centimetres. But of course, with the calculation, you need to work that out in cubic decimetres which is 25.05 over 1,000, which is 0 0.02505 cubic decimeters. Now we need to work out the concentration of this potassium hydroxide, and the concentration equals the number of moles divided by the volume. Now the number of moles is 0 0.002, and the volume is 0 0.02505 and that comes to 0 0.07984 moles per cubic decimeter which would approximate to 0 0.08 moles per cubic decimeter. And the pH value of the dilute hydrochloric acid increases as more potassium hydroxide is added. Uh, explain why it is being neutralised. The KOH has a higher pH than HCl so raises its pH. Now the whole bunch of the answers. The first one as to why we chose those two particular results were that they are the most reliable or the most consistent or they were the uh, concordant results or that the others were anomalous or wrong. Then in the calculation there were four marks going one mark for calculating the number of moles of HCl as being 0 0.002, one mark for from the equation saying that the number of moles of KOH would be the same, one mark for working out the average titer either in cubic centimetres or for the calculation in cubic decimetres, and one mark for working out the concentration of KOH either to those number of significant figures or to one significant figure which is 0 0.08. Finally, um, why did the pH rise? Because it was being neutralised or the alkali that is added has a pH above 7 or some alternative wording.